So right here we have a very thin display, so, so hi. Hey Niklas, nice to see you again. I'm Arne from Fetec. You have visited several times our factory, but uh, today we are at the sec maker and what I want to show uh, you is a lab screen, a screen. Is which this makes, a Huawei? Yeah, a Huawei P20 mobile, for example, to a full 12.5 inch with touch. And imagine you, you just make your um, screen as large as it, or you even can go to desktop modus nice. and start working with your screen on a desktop. And this is a touch, touch screen? It's a, a touch screen, it's super lightweight, and you can, like seen, you connect it to your mobile or to your laptop and work with it. This and is like a Lenovo Yoga? Um, you have the Lenovo yeah. Yoga, right. And um, Fatek is more than um, proud and happy to, to cooperate with um, Michel Hese, who's the inventor of the screen the lab screen and I think now is the right time um, to let him say some uh, some words about his idea and why he invented something like this what we're uh, now starting to uh, produce. This is a 12.5 inch the lightest 12.5 inch kind of like tablet you can imagine right? Yes. It's like light uh, good like quality. Sure it comes from Fete so it, it should have a, a good quality the idea is really that it's total light white and uh, total light, uh, super transportable. And Michelle, probably you say something about your, your idea, um, how you came to it. So hi, so who are you? Hi, my name is Michelle. I came to China seven years ago to develop the portable office. And the lab screen is the first product what I will bring out now for, uh, as one part of the portable office. So it's labscreen.com. Right? Yes, labscreen.com. And uh, on lap screen, uh, though those are a bunch of lap screens you have connected right here with all kinds of different uh, usage cases. Yes. Here, for example, you see it with an old MacBook, uh, two uh, lap screens connected by mini DP, uh, normal um, HDMI, and here with, uh, here with the adapter and normal HDMI cable, and here with the uh, cable where the adapter included. So it's connected with the MacBook, and here is the vertical version. It's connected just by, um, by, uh, by, by HDMI. And then it's also possible to connect the fourth lap screen uh, by Wi-Fi. So it means the old MacBook can connect four lap screens. And here we have already the new MacBook with the Type-C. It's connected with uh, four different uh, lap screens just by, by Type-C on, off, one Type-C and uh, the Type-C drives the power and the data and you have a huge workstation and here I show the speciality that I think um, lab screen we will work with lab screen like this paper. Yeah. Um, so like uh, the, the lab screen has an HDMI input and uh, there's two ways to get it in you can also get it through the, the just the yes there's Type-C, two Type-C and, yes. and one HDMI? Yes, we can say uh, the HDMI is a support for all old uh, 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 devices. They have uh, also VGA, DV, DP, uh, and DVI, and um, so all this old is supported by adapters with uh, HDMI. Any or HDMI screen, source? Any HDMI source, and yeah, any other sort, any any other screen, you, any game uh, uh, console, and so what gives the signal can work with a lab screen by adapter. You That's just no played yesterday with a friend on a NES, or, or, or what? Crazy. On a NES? Nintendo. Nintendo. Yeah. Ah, on a NES. N Nintendo, yes. So, and uh, yes, works very well. He was very excited. And um, in the future, we will have only Type-C. And so we combine in this lab screen uh, the, the, the past uh, with HDMI and the future with Type-C. So which one is a Type-C display input? Yes. This or this one? Here is the special one. You see, uh, the, here is also the power support for the MacBook. Here I can take, and uh, it's no problem. The power comes now for just from the MacBook. So. And if you connect, then it's power delivery. Yes, and if I connect this, uh, I don't need to, because I block now any Type C uh, connector from the MacBook, and so I cannot uh, charge it. And uh, to give power, I just need to connect one lap screen just one of with them. power yeah. one, and, and then power this powers all the whole system. You see, the MacBook is charging now. And you could also so connect through here, it would be fine. It would do yes, exactly no, the same. no problem, no problem. We can do it here. So That's kind of like magic of USB Type C, right? To be able to just charging manage all yeah. the power delivery. What's mm -hmm. the 
does it get the full power that the MacBook needs? Yeah. Like the full power delivery? Is it 45 watt or how much is it? Never. It can go all the way through. Uh, oh, we have the totally specification we find out now. Yeah. It's too new, so uh, uh, what it can what load up to 60 what, watts. What? 60 watts. Yeah. So it just so goes pa right. goes through, right yeah, through, and charges. Micro, microchip architecture. Mm. That's so cool. So you yes, um, and you see it's uh, any lab screen I have not um, configured now for the for for this work situation. So what I do now is. Um, Hi, uh, so you have to so choose which one is screen one, two, three, four, right? Mm -hmm. And so really four screens and one MacBook. It's right, and the weight is when you n use it as a, a no-touch version, it's just 200 grams. So with uh, below one kilogram, you get four screens at full HD resolution with a 12.5 inch. Um, so so you can make your perfect portable um, office and move wherever you want. You say this is less than 250? Yeah. The no-touch version is less than 250. The um, um, touch version with the on-cell um, um, technology is a little bit um, more weight. Like but 50 the idea grams is, more or something? Yeah, the idea is that it's really total lightweight. Yeah. This, this is your idea that you, you, you want the lap screen to be so thin, right? So when did you start with this idea? Yes, uh, 2011 I came to China to develop the first lap screen. And uh, this was the first lap screen. It was more than one kilogram, and uh, you see it's uh, almost three centimeter on the uh, thickest part, and it was a good product. So it was a good combination. What's the size of the screen? It's a 15.6. 15.6, uh, uh, yes. but did you use uh, what kind of uh, inputs? Yes, here also DVI and uh, VGA and HDMI. Was very good, but um, I was too fast with my idea because the next, the second step after I developed this, I developed the name lap screen. And short after I developed the name, I found out together with the keyboard and the mobile phone, um, the lap screen will replace um, the, the laptops. Because if you see the laptop, is this the mobile phone is computer, laptop computer, trackpad, trackpad, keyboard, keyboard, screen, screen. So you have a complete laptop when you combine the mobile phone with the keyboard and with the lap screen. And then I thought, if I have this heavy lap screen, I can nobody uh, uh, say, please leave your laptop uh, for, uh, for one kilogram lap screen. The people will not accept. Mm -hmm. And this makes me so, um, uh, yes, so strange that I say, uh, I want to have a lap screen what is much, much more light. And I developed seven different generations. This is, for example, one generation what I showed uh, on the Cebit two years ago. It was already on the way to become uh, so thin, but I always hate this. Uh, the little box. This six, What's yes. inside here? It's also the electronic. It's the same. You see the development. Like the, the development from this board to this board. It's already a huge development after five years. But um, yes, uh, the goal was to make it flat. And I had a vision that uh, three years ago, I found out already that all components are possible to develop less than six millimeter. And then I decided 2016, I already made a dummy like this and I told um, I will go on the market with the lap screen when it has this dimension. And now it has this dimension. Like a piece of cardboard. It. Yes. Exactly. So, and um, yes, and this idea why I say today it will also be the paper of the future is uh, we have some, we must follow the nature. The nature gave us one brain and a lot of stupid devices. And we cannot manage all what we do with our brain. Uh, when we not have enough hands, for example, and so how often we want to have five or six hands because we have so many ideas but not enough hands. The same is with our screens. We work on one screen, but we have a lot of smart devices and we cannot manage all the information we create every day. And so I think it's much, much more smart when we, when we listen to nature and say, okay, one brain and a lot of stupid devices. And one solution is uh, to have, for example, a lot Ooh. of screens. Yes, this, for example, is a 6K screen. Yes, when you, this I showed already 2016 and this is the goal what I want to reach with uh, little screens and why I say it will replace the paper because the only one reason why we print so much now is that we create so many information what we cannot manage and we always flee in the paper. But if we have a monitor system, what is like paper, then we can avoid to print. This is what the people uh, never were thinking about. They think about how to create information, but they think, don't think about how to understand the information.
information, what they create. We are very fast to create information, but very slow to understand all what we create. So this will be a portable way to have six screens? Right. Yes, for example. Oh, uh, six 2019, I would say. Yes, the 6K monitor yeah. will be less than two kilogram, and it will become normal. You will have, uh, it will be totally normal that you have a system like this, and you work, uh, Mac doesn't support the touch function, but in, uh, imagine you have a touch function, one smart device, I promise you, mobile phones will start next year already to support two screens, three screens, four screens, which will be the same, same competition like about the incoming pixel. Before the uh, mobile companies, they made a competition about the camera. I call it the incoming megapixel. So before the iPhone start with two megapixel, the lap screen start with two megapixel. Uh, the iPhone, the competitor, they say we have four megapixels, six and eight, and so this was the way. And soon the, uh, the, the smartphones will make a big competition about the outgoing megapixel. Two megapixel, like one lap screen, four, like two lap screens, six, like three lap screens, and so on. And the future will, will be that we have one smartphone and a lot of lap screens, and we just, just work. Like this, yeah. you've dug in your phone, yeah, Two, yes. four. Yes, but also this, always the people ask me, where is the stand? And I don't care about stands, but you see, of course, it is possible <coughs> to, to have a lot of stands. Stands like this is pretty yes. nice. Wow. So a lot of <laughs> boring things, you can buy it everywhere, but everybody is asking me for a stand. It's a little provocation that I say, you don't need a stand. Think about paper. You lay it on the floor, and if you sit so, you can work very well. You have five, six lap screens, and the good thing is nobody can watch you. If you sit on the table, you have really your privacy. Nobody think about it. You have your mobile phone, you can work really uh, very private, uh, not now no, like today when you have your screens all in this position. Everybody can watch it. And there's, there's some other configurations you think about to have many displays that can open in different ways? We will change the, the understanding for software too because uh, the software developers, they will not more anymore stick it on one or two screens and the normal format. They will say, hey, this software, we want to, we want to show data. Uh, they have a long, very long table, uh, uh, and we never could make this table in this dimension what we want. But if you have six oh. lap screens, vertical, for example, you can show all your data vertical, and maybe you have uh, the, the special software, you say, it's designed especially for lap screens, Six vertical lap screens, one horizontal, for example. You can just hang it on the wall and then do your Facebook, right? Yes. All the way down. Yes, you see. Because then you can be like, oh, yeah, yes. like, like, yes. like. Yes. Okay, next page. It's you the know? first time that you have overview about all your data and all your life. So this is the idea of, uh, of a combination. When people talk about social media streams, this is the ultimate way to look at the stream. Yes, it will change a lot. <laughs> Let's I, go, uh, let me go a little bit back to Earth. Yeah. Um, that's yeah. a future, and Michelle is living perfectly in the future. But what is now out, I think, is a perfect combination, and that's the start of the future, that you combine, for example, a Huawei P20 with a lab screen, and you have exactly what he said, you have your working device. You don't need the laptop anymore. You can work from ever where you are with, with just your phone and a 200 gram light wire. And then you use keyboard and mouse and with Bluetooth? And, uh, you know, um, that's what I wanted to say. I, don't, I didn't want to interrupt you. This was also done by Fatec, and I, I think this development shows very well manufactured by Fatec, invented by Michel, also the development of Fatec in our mm. corporation. And um, this product is now in production. So um, this I took yesterday out of production. It started sales um, through the, our normal Fatec distribution ways. And for sure, Michel um, creates a future with his uh, web page where, where he um, builds up an own community where he wants what he just said, change the, um, the way of uh, communication and, and working with, uh, with data. Why is 12.5 inch the best size? That's like an A4? Very good question. Because yes, A4, US letter. Uh, we have the, the, it is length, length like, uh, long like um, US letter and uh, white like uh, A4 paper. It means if you put it together with your paper, uh, the screen will not go out of your folder. So you can mix it with your paper and it's very convenient to carry and to combine it with your normal paper. I call it the digital paper and the other is analog paper. So it's, this was very important for me. All the documents for, for uh, universities and people that work, uh, lawyers, all that stuff, it's all A4 PDF, right? Yes. So you yeah. want to just read it in, in the native size. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you, you could even 
put it away um, with and uh, put it into I don't know in English um, into a you know organizer. Yeah, you know nice. that's a typical standard. And that's your that's your that's your protection case. already, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. And, and what yes, that what is very important. The people also like the same question like with um, with the stand. Uh, there's a stand. They ask uh, also for the. Um, uh, um, uh, for the case, and I think it is not good to give every lab screen a case what protects the lab screen very well. I think it's very good if the lab screen has, um, uh, it's a little, it's like this, without a big case. I know it's, it's not, it's a little fragile, yes, so you must be careful, you cannot, you can easily broken. This, this the people must know. But it's the same with the paper. If you have a piece of paper, what is important for you is also easy broken, and you never will put it in your backpack. So what this happens, uh, we, will, we, we make lab screens easy to combine because very light, uh, and then you can have a case for your special devices, what you have. If you want to have three lab screens, you have a big, bigger screen case. If you want to have only one, you have a small case. So we want to make the case flexible, but you have one case for your whole system. This is very important. I don't like that a lot of products are covered with a big case, and if you need a product several uh, several uh, uh, times of the same product, then you have a lot of cases uh, for uh, several functions. So, what do you have here in the back here? Yes, this is a Wi-Fi dongle. Uh, it's so like Miracast, or yes. Also, one question is uh, uh, often uh, where's the battery and where's the Wi-Fi? I think it's not good to include the Wi-Fi in the screen because the screen should be blank like a paper, and all other function can be outside, and we can edit when we need it. And also, the development of the Wi-Fi will be very fast. The same as with the battery. Battery become old, new generation. It is very good if this is external and we can combine it. This one has a, a micro HDMI. Mi uh, yes. Mini HDMI? Yes, Mini HDMI. We have two versions. Uh, one, uh, what the Fatex started now in the market, and this was a version what we uh, developed first, and we uh, keep it uh, also. It's uh, with Mini HDMI and Type C, and the second Type C here. Here, all connections on one side. Uh, so the, the, the main one is going to be full size HDMI? Yeah. For sure, because that's the most used standard. We, we discussed it. But we feel like and um, we go with uh, as standardized as possible, and that's for sure by now HDMI and USB-C. Mm. Nice. And so that's, for example, the one over here that has a little uh, uh, slot that comes in. Mm. And if we can look without the, yeah, maybe we can look, look around. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, so there you have, uh, which, which is a type C that takes the display in? Is it only one of the two or both can do that? Um, now it's only this one. It's working with data, what is on this side. Uh, this is just to support the power. The so power, power can delivery. here can also come the power and if you, you work. You need to load the batteries of the mobile, for example, or yeah. like mm. what you said, of the Apple even, of the MacBook. Mm. So I if you just connect the mobile only, right now it's getting the power from the mobile phone. Yes, now it is uh, just from the mobile phone. So. It's also, also the people often say, oh, Wi-Fi is better, and uh, so, and I say, if you work uh, in an in a, in a, um, in a office, in a Starbucks, wherever you work, it's good to combine it, uh, have the power from the normal power plug, uh, charge your mobile phone while you work with the lab screen. The lab screen always should charge your smart device. Uh, then you can easy use your smart device when you leave this work situation because it's always full of power. Very often the people forget to charge it. And so I like the situation that we have uh, use a cable and charge all devices so at the same time. So you can also use a power bank, like a, a Type-C and get some power, but how much power does this one use? Uh, how it's long? Not much. It's not uh, much. around 3.5 watt. So you can, uh, with the actual um, 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 mobiles, it, it runs for hours without um, that you turn it down. That's kind of amazing. You can just power your screen off the mobile phone. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. you can also add a power bank to here, and then you charge right. both the mobile, and you have this running off the power bank. Mm -hmm. And any size power bank you want. But yes. you need like a, a 18 watt power bank to do all this, or uh, just a Norm something? Normal power bank. Two, so. uh, like a 10 watt, that's called, right? 2A, 5. Or you something. can use any power bank, but uh, uh, it's a bigger, it's a long, it's longer work time. Yeah. <laughs> so <Yeah. that's> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. you you must uh, yes, uh, as, as more uh, power the power bank has, the longer you can work. So uh, can I buy this right now? So how much? Where? <laughs> where can people? Where are you selling this? 
Now uh, Fatec will uh, special active uh, for this product and uh, sell it as a no touch version around $200 and as a touch version as around $300. And uh, we made a special uh, campaign in the beginning for $100, but this is left, you missed it already. Oh. And uh, then, uh, yes. Sold out? Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. So where, uh, where are the customers? They're all over? Seriously, I, I want to jump in. It's, uh, I mean, you can say it, but from, from business, we are really excited. It's, uh, that's a product, you know it. I do now for more than eight years touch devices in China. But this is a product everybody freaks out. I have never ever in this eight years being in business received such a positive resonance on a product like on the lab screen. We are seriously all blown away. So we are now preparing that we can produce next year, yeah, hopefully millions of devices. You have <laughs> the capacity see. in your factory? We just opened a second production line in Sweening. So yes, um, whatever is sold, we are looking forward to produce. In Sweening, it sounds like Sweden. No, <laughs> no, it's somewhere in Shenzhen? Uh, Sichuan province, um, uh, far, uh, 2,000 ah. kilometers away. Ah, another city. Yeah. All right, so, um, so you're busy. We, we will Fate invite you next year to, to come there Fate right? when, when, the, uh, when the lab screen production uh, started. But you still have your headquarters in Shenzhen, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, cool, that's really cool. Uh, so, uh, and, 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 and still your slogan is uh, like German quality at Chinese price? Oh, I'm joking, <laughs> no? <laughs> no? I, I mean, that's what we try to combine best. And that's exactly also what we try at the lab screen, that you get um, a good device, an intelligent device, intelligent in that way that it's totally reduced to the basics. And that's really, I think, Michel's strength, that he um, total with his creativity focused to destroy everything which is not needed and cut it away. To be frank, I would have never had the courage to design such a device. Uh, it needed Michel to do this and his um, inspiration. L uh, long, long work. And I, I saw something recently. I saw that Smartisan is doing Type C, they call it TNT, that has a perfect UI for touch. Maybe mm -hmm. that's a perfect phone for you also. There's because there's support for you have Huawei, you have uh, Samsung Dex, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. All the Samsung S8, S9. Mm -hmm. uh, the Samsung, uh, this this the Huawei P20 is really very special. It is already this what we uh, imagine for the future, and uh, a lot of mobile phones has have Type C but uh, they doesn't support the lab screen because you, they only transfer data, but they have not the high speed uh, data for what is necessary for the, for the, uh, to drive a lab screen. So, but, uh, but the Samsung I'm was supported, right? Samsung uh, Galaxy S8, yes. S8, but not, not S9? other, for example, the Huawei P10 yeah. doesn't support. Yeah. It's really, uh, I know now from more than 20 good smartphones, I tested only three uh, smartphones passed. So they Wherever you go, Nicholas, you should now tell the people you have to see for that you um, support the lab screen. And yeah. uh, that's, uh, that's uh, I think, Michelle's goal that uh, next year Apple will not just offer the clone models, so when you now yeah. connect an Apple iPhone, you can just use the HDMI, so the lightning adapter to HDMI to show the clone models. Oh, I work with this Chinese, Type -C, yeah. but exactly, they should support a real uh, connection like Huawei. And when we make Apple starting this, then you know that lab screen changed the world. That's what Michel Apple is the one is that pushed Type C about. on the MacBook first, right? Yeah. So they should also, now they have it on the iPad? Mm. And uh, just about to be, it should be on the iPhone, mm. what's it called, the next one? Uh, 12 or something? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Just the, iP the iPad is nothing other than a mobile phone with a lap screen. So you c the, the lap screen will replace the laptops the, and all the pads. It makes no sense. We only use it because we want to have a big screen. The people, the most things that people do already with a mobile phone. And uh, the only one reason why they use the pad is they want to have a big screen. If they add a lab screen, they have the big screen. So, and if you lose a lab screen, you don't lose data. But if you have two devices, they have data, and you lose one iPad, you always need to care for your iPad. Oh, my expensive iPad. If you lose a lab screen, it's just like a piece of paper. It's okay. It's very, very important for the we security. A new one. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> just a sidekick. Just the side. Is there insurance? <laughs> like DJI, um, you can crash the drone once. Uh, you, you, you can no, uh, you can check with your insurance company. Okay. Yes. Well, this is what I mean. This is why I call it also the third evolution of mobile computing. 
Yes, because uh, the, the laptop 9081 developed by Adam Osborne made it possible to work with the computer everywhere. Yes, it was a computer what you could put in a, put in a backpack. Uh, Steve Jobs 2007 made the smartphone so, so great that uh, everybody wants to have a smartphone and you can put your computer already in your pocket. The, but the people didn't realize it till now. The best computer is a smartphone already. And if they want to have a keyboard and the, lap, uh, uh, the big screen, then they buy a laptop. But they don't realize that they just want to have a screen and a keyboard. And if they realize it, then they will forget to buy any smart device what is only just a big screen. So you can focus in your in, in your second monitor, and I think lap screen will be also the general name for uh, any portable screen, uh, like before Sony Walkman, uh, everybody called it Walkman, later the CD player, and so I think it's a good name for, for a new category of product. It's not just a new product, it opens a totally new understanding of the new category of products. What I think is that all these smartphones, the latest ARM processors are so powerful, you mm. cannot use a small screen to do mm. everything that its potential mm. of the CPU. You need a bigger screen. Mm. That's mm. the only way you can use the CPU. I told you. So we it's a perfect, perfect yes, match. Yes. We, we create so many information, but we cannot have no overview. And for overview, it is important to, to raise really the, the possibility to see what you do. So the, more, the faster the ARM processors, the more lap screens people should use because you need more and more to use all the CPU. All will come together. It's the right timing now. It's nice. a perfect time. <laughs> cool, all right. So thanks a lot for this demo. I'm looking forward to uh, next time when you do the video, you can tell me how many millions have been sold, okay? <laughs> all right. Okay, thanks.